right right hi guys uh, I did say last night I was going to uh, work on this turntable it's called well it's made by Calaro okay uh, who actually sold the company and sold it to Magnavox the US company Rosie should know all about Magnavox and um, if you look at it it does say uh, there we go can you see that I wonder uh, made in England studio by Colaro there we go so right this thing was all seized up all the old grease the brown grease had solidified so I've had to scrape it off and uh, you know WD-40 it and oil it re-oil all the parts I've got some special oil used for clocks so I uh, used to re restore clocks as you can see those clocks out there they've all been fixed by me there we go um, yeah, so what I use is clock oil, because clock oil is very light, you know. Or you can use lithium grease, just as good. But um, what happened on this one as well, the idler, there's a, a rubber wheel in there. A big. I can't take the deck off at the moment, so I'm holding the damn phone. But here, there's a wheel. And the rubber was actually hard as a rock. I've never seen rubber go so hard in my life. But I, you know, scounged around, looked around the internet, and anyway, I found... Some guy was selling three of them, so I bought the whole load of them, you know. Uh, so I've got brand spanking new rubber idler on this, and this is going around lovely now. So that's not the original knob, by the way, that cream knob. So I've got another two of these, and it should have a brown, long-shaped uh, thing on it. But yeah, you can see it's working now. No noise, look, I've lubricated everything. Beautiful. The cartridge, though. It's completely knackered. <laughs> no knackered, knackered. Look at that, it's completely screwed. Even I tried to take the stylus off and it fell off, broke in half in my hand. It's a sonotone. Sonotone can't. <laughs> Hold up, bloody horses. I've got bloody tweet come up. Dong. Uh, yeah, it's a sonotone, whatever it is, but it's completely screwed. And I don't know who did the wiring, someone rewired it underneath. What a cowboy job. So I'm going to replace all the wires straight from the, uh, in the end of the arm into the deck and replacing all of that and put a brand new cartridge on there. One that should go on there, the proper cartridge. I can't get this fucking clip on there. What the fuck? Hang on a minute. Oh, so hard to do things with one end. I don't know how people cope, amputees and stuff like that, with one arm. I really don't. Anyway, yeah, because see there's a cut out in the front? Because it should have something called a... Um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, oh, what's the name of that make? Can't remember. Memory's failing, you know. Um, a Ronit. That's the one. It should have a Ronit uh, flip-over cartridge. And the Ronits have got a little white flip thing on the front where you twist it and you go, like, LPs, 78s. That's why the cutouts is meant for Ronit. But I have got, uh, what do you call it, a Ronit cartridge. It's a uh, copy of it. It's not an original, it's a copy, but... It works great. I've got that on one of those other machines over there and it works fantastic. So I'm going to put a new Ronit on there. Why not? Oh, the deck's beautiful now. The only thing, I've got slight little problems with the um, the reject. Uh, when it, when you sort of reject it or try to put the record on the finger bob here for the automatic play, it tends to, um, it works, but the arm it's very hard to move afterwards it's, it's something there's some arm mechanism or something like that that's locking up it hasn't been freed yet i must have missed it but apart from that it's all working and all the speeds different work as well 45 that was all stiff as a board that change is lovely now look at that sorry about my hand in the way there 16 <laughs> i've never had a record with 16 rpm on it that works on 16 revolutions per minute. Never had that ever. Never had a record like that. So there we go. There's the Calaro Studio. Currently owned by, well, Salter Magnavox. The actual company used to make this turntable. It's literally about six miles away from me in, in a place called Barking in East London. Yeah. So there we go. There's the Calaro Studio. So a real good close up. If you can see that made in England when Britain used to make stuff what do they make now shit <laughs> I'll make anything anymore absolutely useless country there we go well I just uh, thought I'd do a quick video and uh, 
there we go guys I'm going to show it to you when it's all done back in the actual um, box with the amplifier the amplifier is fine actually funny enough there's no work to do on it it's great uh, there we go that's the Calaro studio I've got another version of this and over here where the speed changes and the power on it's a column a long column about that high something like that about probably eight seven inches high and I think Rose has got the same deck in that uh, radiogram she was doing up you know the one that was in the, uh, the workshop yeah so that's uh, definitely a Calaro deck but currently owned by Magnavox there we go all right hope you found it interesting if you're into this sort of thing like i am all right then guys i'll talk to you later okay bye for now